Hey guys, welcome back to another HP Omen video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to control your fan speeds in the HP Omen because they really only give you your CPU fan and your um, rear exhaust fan. Even, I've added many fans because you know I didn't think it was enough and it really helped. But I'm, I already made another video. I already made a video on that, so if you want to go see it. I'll leave a, a link in the description and below or check it out on my profile. So basically the CPU cooler is okay. It's basically just a regular heatsink with a 60 millimeter fan on it, which is decent. But the temperatures on the HP element aren't the greatest. So today I'm gonna be showing you what you can use that's really easy and simple to um, change your fan speeds and it's really simple, but some people don't know exactly what to use. So you can use many different apps, but I believe the simplest are the EVGA, Precision, XRC, or the MSI Afterburner. Now, I just want to make a quick disclaimer that these are GPU overclocking apps. So if you don't know much about overclocking, I would recommend don't touch anything. Anything other than the fan speed controller, because you can really mess up your graphics card and... And if a person doesn't know how to fix that, then some videos might not be exactly the same as your problem, and you will, you'll lose your graphics card. So, quick disclaimer, do not touch anything if you don't know what you're doing, other than the fan speed. So, I recommend MSI Afterburner, which you can get at MSI, if you just go on MSI com and search up afterburner and you can also use evga precision xoc which i don't like as much because it's a little glitchy but you can get that at steam and evga.com so first i'm going to show you how to use evga precision xoc so when you click on it, it's going to say do you want to allow do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and it's verified and it's trustworthy so you can say yes the reason to ask that is because it changes stuff physically in your computer fan speed overclocking stuff like that now like i said do not touch anything okay see so if i touch that stuff do not touch anything okay but right here you're gonna see curve fan curve and then you're gonna see this bar and this is mainly for like this is more complicated and you can enable automatic you can en enable the fan speed period and stuff like that but this is this is a little more confusing so I'll, and i don't like this one as much as msi so i'm not going to show this one but right here you can see it says you can put on auto and then or you can control it so right now i have it at 85 but you can go down to 35 and 100. But I believe 100 is too loud and 35 is what they're going to keep it at when you first get your computer. So you can raise whatever you want. Your temperatures will improve a little bit. But not, not amazing. Not like too, too much. But it definitely helps. So, yeah. But I'm going to show more on MSI after burner. And I recommend this one a lot. It's a lot less sketchy. And, yeah. So, do not touch any of this stuff, right? This is all graphics card. But right here, you're going to have this fan speed percent. And again, you can go to 100, 35, I think 85 is a good, good, it's good, 75, stuff like that. But this is where I'm going to talk about the advanced. If you click on this, do not touch anything but the fans. And then it's going to give you this graph. So this graph basically says, okay, as my temperature increases, which is the y-axis, um, my fan speed increase, which is the x-axis. So, if you, um, as, as this says, basically, as the temperature increases, fan speed increases. So, I have it, if my system's at, sets, oh, it's at 40 degrees Celsius. Mine's going to be at around 80. And you can add as many points as you want. Raise it. Lower it as much as you want. Have it if it reaches 100 Celsius, which is kind of a high one. So it really, would, really wouldn't get there. Fan speed gets 100. So basically, if you want to go, um, my fan speed should be at 60 when it's only 40 degrees and stuff like that. Um you can make whatever you want but this is more confusing 
So I'm going to cancel that and then I'm going to show you what I did. So I got 70 degrees all the way up to about 30. Then I got 80s for 40 to 50. And then I got, I mean, yeah, 80. And then I got like 82 for all the way to 70, 80. Then I got 85, 87, etc. But yeah, guys, I hope this video helped you. And I recommend mainly just using that because it really is the simplest way and you can still go from 100 to 35 so yeah guys thank you for watching if you are confused and have any questions make sure you drop them below and thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video